something that really helps me because if I do wake up and I'm not kind of like immediately like, oh, this is a great day, you know, um, I do find myself kind of caught more in my head than in my heart. And so one of the things that really helps me is I'm like a really visual person. And so when I can visualize, you know, kind of this white light energy that kind of circles around my head, right? It circles, circles, circles. And then I kind of almost see it like, kind of like those visuals where it's like, you know. <laughs> There's a visual yeah. that goes. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's for the audio side too. <laughs> and, and so is that down. light waving yes, through your body? Waving, <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so I can connect with yeah. the visual. Think sci-fi, like, and it goes down from my head and into my heart. And then, and then it kind of moves. It's kind of slow at first and then faster and faster and faster until, you know, kind of like, like a fan, right? You can see it. And then when it goes so fast, then you can actually see right through it. Like when I see, when I get to that point, then I feel like all that energy that was stuck up in my head that was keeping in my head, blocking me from my heart has now moved from my head and down into my heart. And then it's like a reset. And then I can kind of move forward from there. Awesome. Then you can care bear that stuff. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All the sound effects today. <laughs> that is a huge yes. part of it too. We do a lot of sound effects. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that also gets us into tip number three, which is talk less and listen more. Huh? What? <laughs> what? So if you're getting to the point where you believe in positive intent from the other person, you know, maybe a sound effect can shift you into listening instead of can shock you into listening instead of talking so much. Because often we do end up talking instead of can listening to what the person is saying. And we get back to that those words that maybe don't feel so well, but we presume and we talk at someone that is our partner or in any other relationship. So when we talk less and we listen more, we get more information. Then we can ask clarifying questions when we feel like maybe our partner isn't having our back. But if we presume that we know that, and we just pounce on that, we might not have all the information either. So listen fully, and then we can ask clarifying questions. Yeah. I love that. Again, that's a, each one of these steps, it's important to recognize, you know, how they facilitate a heart forward approach. And what is the, the saying? You have two ears and one mouth. So listen twice as much as you speak. Okay. You know, that's always a good one. Right. <laughs> yep. And so, you know, that to me is, is, is really important. I mean, everyone, we talk about this all the time in our, in our podcast and just in general in life, um, that everyone wants to see, be seen and heard and gotten. Right. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rosie for that. And, and it's so true. Like that's, uh, super important. And so when you do take the time to listen, that is a heart forward uh, practice to let your partner know that you see them and that you hear them and that you've got them. And, and that's, that's so key. And it seems so simple, you know, which, which is so funny, but the reality it's, it's so powerful. And often the, the most simplest things are the most powerful. They are the most profound. And so when we can show that we are actively listening, and we are understanding we're not as you're saying uh presuming or think oh i think they're going to say this so i'm going to get ready to to fight against that and and then you're just completely paying and not paying attention and then most likely they're not even going to say what you think and so then you're just way off and then now you're not communicating and then that's where miscommunications come and then that builds into confrontation and then that builds into fights and and then it becomes something that it just never needed to be in the first place mm -hmm.